Here we go. The Barnstorm Tour travels to about 36 different communities in North and South Carolina. It's a way for CFSA to connect and reconnect with communities that we help support. Some communities have live music every time and you can pretty much go grocery shopping. You've got your pasta, you've got bread and olive oil, all sorts of stuff that's somehow locally produced. In every single one of those markets, no matter how big or small it is, there's a huge sense of community. For the past couple months, we've been helping to set up uh, local food meetups and farmers market visits across North and South Carolina. We're interacting with folks and telling people about what we do at Carolina Farm Stewardship Association to promote organic growing methods and to support local food systems and infrastructure. It's been a great opportunity to hear many great food projects that are going on across the Carolinas and to interact with folks and help promote organic growing methods and hear how organic growing and local foods is really important to people in North and South Carolina. Fresh tastes the best. Anything's ever going to taste is that moment it's picked off the tree, if it's picked off when it's ripe, when it's ready to eat. And the closer you get to that, clearly the better thing you can put on the plate or in the glass. So that's why it's important. I shop at the farmer's market for me and my husband, but primarily for this one. Uh, it's become much more important to us because we want her to have organic foods, healthier. But we are also into the sustainability aspect of things. After 30 or 40 years of federal farm policy that has led to the consolidation of farms into many large farms, and we've seen a lot of small family farms disappear since the 70s, I think it's really starting to hit home to folks that our food system has drastically changed and, and that we need to do something about it from a grassroots standpoint. You know, you're voting more with your dollars than you ever are at a ballot box, so every purchase you make translates to something. So I love to see people at the farmer's market interacting with their community, creating real jobs that have a long-lasting effect, that are healthy. You're exchanging, you know, your hard-earned money for our hard-earned product, and that's a good situation, and that's the way it should be. You're interacting with the producer. How many times a day can you say that? We get to talk to a lot of farmers and part of my job is to document the tour through photographs. In doing so we're just trying to connect with the communities there, put farmers on our local food finder as well as restaurants and local food artisans. Many people also come to us because they, they stop at our table because they're just interested in organic growing methods. They're passionate about eating and growing foods that are pesticide free because they feel that it's healthier for themselves, their family, and for the environment. People need to stand up and fight for what they believe in, and eating organically and buying locally supports your community, supports your health, and supports the planet. For the love of beef. For the love of garlic. For the love of strawberry. For the love of cucumbers. For the love of basil. For, for the, the love, love of pickles. pickles. For the love of pimento cheese. For the love of potatoes. For the love of Swiss chard. For the love of sun gold. For the love of string beans. For the love of peppers.